Hello YouTube, I'd like to welcome you back to the homestead. What we have here is another uh, show and tell video. What I have here is uh, three knives that are called Ulus. These are the type of knives that were used by the indigenous people of uh, the Arctic and the subarctic, mainly the uh, Eskimos and the Induit Indians. Uh, the ones I have here are the ones that are made by the Ulu factory in Anchorage, Alaska. And I have three different handle types here. The first one is birch. Next one's walnut. And the last one is synthetic ivory. In other words, plastic. <laughs> but, um, no, these are interesting knives and um, they have some interesting history behind them. The, uh, the Eskimos have been using this for thousands of years. Now, originally, of course, they made theirs out of bone and stone. But after uh, introduction to the white Europeans, they started uh, having access to steel. So we have the Ulu we have here today. There are basically two patterns of Ulus. One is called the Induit, which is what I have here. And there is another style that merely is solid steel and you know a little bit more triangular shaped but uh, this is the style I have come to use and enjoy now I especially find these handy in the kitchen um, nothing dices like an ulu 30 seconds and I can have an onion diced up to the point that you would think it went through a food processor so, you know, they're just held in hand, and you just rock it through whatever you're dicing. It does an excellent job. Matter of fact, you can kind of tell here, especially on the walnut one, how faded the handle is. How many years I have used this in the kitchen on a constant basis. Now, the uh, it's a single bevel as far as sharpening. So, so it's only beveled on one side. It's easy to sharpen. I just use a uh, sharpening steel when I have to. Now the one that's in plastic actually has some simulated scrimshaw on the other side. Of course this is a salmon and it says Alaska on it. This one I keep in my uh, tackle bucket. I don't use a box, I use a five gallon bucket for tackle. And so I have that one because it's more exposed to water. And for it I have an ice sheet. Now this knife sheath I made myself. I'm into leather craft, so I wanted a knife sheath for it, so I decided just to make my own. So the Eskimo Ulu, just an interesting knife. Thought I'd share it today. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and as always, happy homesteading. God bless.